Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about a new action feature of Pabli Connect, which is called Code by Pabli. So with the help of this, you can run JavaScript course inside your automation workflows. So to show you the demo of this feature, I'm taking a use case in which we are going to check the data of a spreadsheet I have created in Google Sheets application. And we are going to see if any of the cell in the spreadsheet is empty or not. And if the cell is empty, we are going to fill it using Java code script and it is going to fill it automatically. Okay, so we can set up this automation in just few steps. So let me show you how. So guys, I have created a, this workflow here and here in this trigger module, I have connected Google Sheets application. So trigger is that event which is going to start our workflows and the action is the response or the consequence of the trigger. So here we have connected Google Sheets and the trigger event is new or updated spreadsheet row. And with the help of these steps and this webhook URL, we have created a connection with Google Sheets. So you can learn about this connection from the videos we have on our channel. So we have many videos on Google Sheets. You can watch and learn it, okay? So after making the connection, I have fetched the data of my spreadsheet here in this response section. So guys, first of all, let me show you my spreadsheet. This is my spreadsheet guys, named as Big Commerce. And here I have the details of my e-commerce stores inventory. And here I have the SKUs, the stock keeping units, the products name, the stock status and the per unit price of the uh, products. Okay. And here uh, we want to check uh, specifically this cell, this row, uh, this column, the C column. And in this C column, I want to check these cells. I have the stock statuses cells. Okay. And I want to see if any cell is empty here. And if the cell uh, is empty, I want to update it as yes with yes word and if it is already written yes this means we have the inventory right now and, and we do not want to change it we want to keep it as it is okay so let me just deliberately remove this uh, yes word from here and you can see this c column is now empty okay and we are going to capture the data of uh, this row in my uh, in my workflow for that you have to click on this recapture webhook response button then click on yes and it will start showing waiting for the webhooks response. Now this uh, this means this uh, trigger is going to capture the data when you are going to add a new row or update an existing row. Okay, so you can do both. You can add a row or update a row. So here I'm updating this row. You can see I have update, I have removed, I have emptied this column and let me change the price of this product a little bit. Okay, so I'm making it as 7000. Okay, and I'm going to enter. Okay, right. So this row is updated here. Okay, and the D column is our trigger column. So as you update the last uh, this uh, trigger column, the data will be sent to the workflow. So let's see in our workflow if we got the data captured. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured like this. And here it is showing stock status field as empty. The spreadsheet's name is Big Commerce. The sheet's name is order. You can see all the things here. Sheet's name is order. Okay. And here is the sheet ID and the SKU is 106. 106. Okay. Row index is second. The data is coming from second row. Okay. And the product is Mike. The per unit price is 7000. Okay. So this updated row got captured here. Now guys, in this action step, I have used this feature code by Pabli and the action event we used is run JavaScript. Okay. So after that, I clicked on connected and, and here in this JavaScript code field, I have written this small uh, Java code just to show you the demo. So I have used a simple if else statement code for Java and what I want here, you can uh, see, uh, I want that when the stock status uh, stock status column here or uh, the cells in these columns here are empty then I want to return this yes word in and if it is not empty I want to keep it as it is for that I have written this code that if stock status is empty return yes okay and here you can see we have received the stock status label here in which the value is empty 
okay so here guys i am going to map this stock status label in this code okay for that you can see i have written let stock status equals to so here in between the apostrophe commas i am just going to click and here you can see the previous steps appear here in the drop down like this the google sheet step or the trigger and when you click on it you will see all the data here only and from here i am going to map this stock status label okay so when you map the label here like this what will happen whenever you are going to add any new row or update any row here in this spreadsheet this label is going to be updated in this workflow automatically and it is going to ch uh, check automatically that if the cells of this column are empty or not empty right now here you can see this is empty okay so let's run this code here i'm going to click on save and send test request button and here you can see it is empty so it should provide me the output as yes okay because i want to place yes here in place of this empty value so i'm clicking on save and send test request guys and here you can see guys we got the output as yes right because this uh, field was empty now guys you can update this value inside your spreadsheet by connecting with google sheets again in another action step so i'm just clicking here on this plus icon and from here i'm going to search for google sheets again okay and now i want to use the action event as update cell value okay you will find this update cell value option then click on connect and from here guys you can make a new connection or you can use your saved connections so guys i have already created many connections with my google spreadsheet here so i'm going to use my save connections for that you just have to keep this existing connection option selected and from this list you can use any of your saved connection and you just have to click on save and you will be connected again with google sheets okay so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the spreadsheet's name so the name of my spreadsheet is big commerce so just click here and you will see all the spreadsheets you have from here select the sheets spreadsheets name then you have to select the sheets name so the, my sheet name is order and it got auto selected here because we have only one sheet and here it is asking the range of da uh, data where you want to update this value so my range is this you can see this was the empty column and when you click on it on this cell you can see here in the name box it is showing c2 this means this cell is placed at column c row number two okay so you have to put this range here so i'm just putting here capital c and i'm going to map the row value from the previous step or the trigger step you can see guys here in this trigger step we have received the row values as well here in the row index label it is showing us two so i'm going to map the row value here from the first step so just click here and from this first step map the row index so this label is going to change automatically whenever you add a new row here and this range will change and the uh, the the value should be updated properly inside the new cells okay and here it is asking which you, value you want to update so guys i want to uh, place this yes word here in this empty cell for that you just have to map this value just click here and from the second step map this output like this now you can check your connection with google sheets here just click on save and send test request button and the empty cell will be filled with yes word so this is the response we have received let me show you the spreadsheet and here you can see we got this yes word placed here so guys this is how you can use the code by tabli feature and here i have written this simple code but you can um, run complex code here also here you can read the important note as note as well so this is this steps involves programming so you need to be a coder to use this okay and you can read the code documentation and uh, the environment is node.js and you there are some limitations as well like this you can run the course up to 25 seconds and up to this memory okay so guys, this is how you can use the code by Pabli feature. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel